Hello everyone. Today we will talk about the elements that we should consider in order to design a building's envelope, mainly based on a solar heat gain factor. Solar heat gain is the intensity of solar radiation reaching the building, determining the solar heating impact. Controlling the solar gain will interact with the rest of the building system. Designing the building to be optimized for the intended use or the climate will be critical. Solar heat gain is the combination of three main factors, which are first, solar heat gain coefficient, which is this portion here, and second, controlling the overall area of glass, which is represented as AG here, and lastly, the incident solar radiation, which is represented as a G here. So these three factors now is translated into three major portion of building's envelope design related to the building's energy use. And we will first discuss on designing the exterior shading first. The design of the exterior shading is related to the G portion that is controlling the solar radiation that is hitting the glass. The first kind of modern brisolia which work as a major architectural expression was done by Le Corbusier and uh, Shandiga Punjab in India which is this building uh, used for the assembly house uh, is a good example. Through the precise drawing of diagram um, indicating the solar ray and relating it exactly to the dimension of the exterior shading that he is designing, the Le Corbusier protected the uh, southern facade from the morning ray while maintaining its uh, grand entrance gesture throughout the mega roof structure, while providing a vertical and horizontal uh, shading elements for its uh, southwest facade uh, in order to protect it from the severe afternoon sun. In order to properly design the shading, we should start with the solar location of the site. During the previous classes, we already learned how to read and use SunPass diagram and how to extract the information in order to relate how surrounding context is relating to the building mass that we are designing. This is the example of the evaluation of the shading element. Uh, through the shading mask generated based on the actual photographic image. This image shows that what time of the year is this aperture point will be protected from the shading element. We can start by evaluating the representative points of the facade of the building, which is in, the, in this case uh, we are setting as these three points and evaluate the initial status of the shading uh, that we are trying to design. This reveals the problem which needs to be solved by the shading that we are trying to design and you can get a sense of, of what needs to be designed. As we start to design the envelope shading system, we should also first examine the initial facts about the designed massing in reactions to the climate's solar factors. By doing this, you can find out the problem that the building should overcome and how much of the problem is by examining the magnitude. This example shows the basic solar data of Bangkok by looking at the solar altitude and azimuth angle information, you can get a sense of the basic pattern of solar movement. Also, by running the initial heat gain simulation for each orientation surface, which is this, this diagram represents, you can get a basic understanding which side needs the shading the most and what time. For example, this is the east diagram and this is the time and uh, you can notice that the 
uh, north and east facade require uh, shading during the morning, but lower in magnitude, while the west facade requires a lot more shading, a lot intensive shading during the afternoon. And then, based on the basic information you gather from the previous stage, you can start to design the shading system and see how well the shading is performing through the use of shading mask. For this project example, you can see the impacts of the elements in a separate manner first and how much impact it will increase when those two are combined and you can start to tweak the geometry and you can compare the benefit from the the cost that you're trying to add by, based on the geometrical modification and you can also uh, compare between many different options and try to see how much uh, shaded area that you're trying to reduce from then we would like to open up the view as much as possible and maximize the shading effect at the same time. Or in this case, the designer has designed a diagonally slanted vertical fence which varies its width vertically and eliminates certain portion of the horizontal overhang by integrating the geometry with the vertical one. After that, you can start to uh, use a solar irradiation method in order to verify your design better. And based on the uh, baseline uh, surface that we just looked at, we can um, start to add each element based on uh, differentiated uh, dimensions uh, and how much it is, uh, how much impact it is creating for uh, the item by item. And then you can start to um, simulate the uh, combination of the two item and also modified uh, uh, design that you are starting to tweak. Based on the previous lessons and information, uh, in this stage you can modify and make different options and find out which geometry performs uh, better than the other. Since the solar heat gain uh, that is controlled by shading will impact the overall building's energy use in a sometimes complex manner, it is always beneficial to run the overall energy modeling and test the shading design's impact on overall building's performance, which includes all the other systems that we um, uh, first looked at at the beginning of the presentation. And by doing this, we will see uh, what happened beyond just looking at the radiation falling on the glazing surface. This is the interesting study that you can find from the urbanalyze.com website. And it shows a, a study of different Brazilian design and its impact based on the particular climate location. Uh, which is Hong Kong in this case. Um, by looking at this chart, it shows the percentage of the uh, sh uh, shadow facade. You can see certain design options are successful, especially for the sauce facade. Uh, of course, the chart will be resulted in different data when it's studied in different locations. You can, but you can see based on what factor uh, you can determine which shading design works the best.